wondering is God real or uh, where is God in this town? Where is even God in this town? And <laughs> Good morning guys! So me and this one are left in the house. They've got swimming. Have you guys noticed that this little one here loves cuddling? It loves cuddling. Yes, you do love cuddling, don't you? So it is Saturday today and it's amazing because it was just snowing very 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 lightly i actually forgot to mention well i didn't forget i just didn't see i just didn't mention it so in my vlog where i titled um chit, chit chat about um daily vlogging i was coughing and you know i was all congested in that video and it's basically because i was actually literally here for like two weeks for like two weeks it start it just randomly started like three weeks ago and it's just moved from cough to sore throat to congested nose but you know i'm getting much better and then my left eye decided to start playing up yesterday well not about two days ago it just it got really really red and I, actually i think it started the day before i did that um vlog um before i did that video and now when i woke up this morning it was just like all closed and now it's like it, it looks really really creepy doesn't it anyway it's just you know it's part of the symptoms you can get when you have a cold and this little one here i don't even know what it's doing what are you doing baby are you standing are you standing yes yes look at look at your cute little face you are so beautiful elijah elijah what are you doing Yes, you're standing, but what are you doing? What What are you looking at? Looking at the floor? Elijah? <coughs> yes. Yes. So I ordered um, my little camera that, as I mentioned in my past video, um, I made that order on Thursday and it's Saturday today. Well, I, even though I said Thursday, I ordered it like midnight. This thing is not focusing very well. I need to. Yeah, that's better. So I ordered, I placed the order Thursday, well, Friday, early morning on Friday. And when I'm in early morning, I think around, around maybe like one something a.m. Um, I said I used most of my time on Thursday to search for a camera and to like watch on reviews, read reviews before picking that particular camera. And um, I ordered it from Amazon, like I did mention in my past video. And they said, um, order it by you know, social time in order to get it the next day. So, as I ordered it 1 a.m. on Friday, it will be delivering today. It will be coming through the post today. Oh my god, I'm like, I'm so excited. So, we'll get that um, through the post soon. My hair, what's my hair doing on the side here? So, like I said, I'm going through postpartum hair shedding. Hair looks beautiful, it does look beautiful, but I'm losing some of my edges but it's growing back it's not you know it's, it's not it's not oops it's not too bad but you know it's it, it, it's you know i mean you can tell some has fallen out from there and this side as well and this side too postpartum post postpartum hair shedding so i've just i just have my hair in a twist at the moment and that is my hair at the moment so i always leave it in twists um you know to avoid shedding and because you know obviously the weather is is very very humid isn't it and then it's dry and and um you know it's winter well we get, we're getting to spring now because it's summer but it's like because of the weather it's, it's quite cool it's cold 
So I prefer to leave my hair, yeah, and it twist. Just in case you're wondering, I do this to make it soft and so that I can get enough juice from the lemon. Ready for nap? Oh, you ready for nap? You're tired now, aren't you? I know. just after dropping Elijah in his bed um, I actually have a word for you guys I need to put this down so that we can you know talk let's talk let's talk this kind of conversation will probably happen a lot in my vlogs shall, shall I say um, you know when people just randomly send things because I'm I'm in a group on WhatsApp and things just come through your phone and sometimes you check them and sometimes you don't have that time and they just stay on your phone and then whenever you eventually have that time you will you know get to have a look at this stuff that's literally what just happened to me so you know after putting the ledger down i was just scrolling through my phone and i just feel that it's just like even when you don't have a look at a thing that was sent to your phone you i feel like that time that moment that you check it is probably for a reason you know um i have a word for you guys okay as you guys some of you may know and some of you may not know but now you know <laughs> i'm a christian um i know i don't i don't want to believe in religion okay but i believe there is god i believe in god and i don't believe in religion because of the doctrine that is attached to religion i don't think god um created us to be in a doctrine i think god made us you know for a purpose and everyone has got their own to uh, has got to find their own purpose and work towards their purpose i don't think a doctrine should be set for you in order for you to find your purpose and what and what i mean by that is you know how some churches sets some standard and then judge you by that standard i think that's just doctrine and i don't think that is how god is personally so <laughs> I, I believe in god 
and I believe in Jesus Christ, okay? Like I said, a word came to me, so I will be reading this thing, okay, from Malachi 3.3. 3. So I'm reading from the New um, Living Translation, okay? It says, it will sit like a refiner of silver, burning away the dross. It will purify the Levites, refining them like gold and silver. That thing, okay, that I was watching was just literally saying that we go through some, some kind of process and you will be wondering how oh, on earth did I even get here? Okay, I've been there before. I'm still going through <laughs> something right now, me and my family. And you know, it's not the end of the world, okay? That's not what this is all about. Okay, I'm just trying to encourage someone out there today. You go through all this process and I'm wondering, especially when you're Christians and you've prayed about these things and it doesn't seem to be coming to an end. And then you're wondering, is God real or uh, where is God in this storm? Where is even God in this storm? And so that thing that I was just watching talked about some ladies that um, sat together to do some Bible study and they came across um, Malachi 3.3 3, and they saw that, um, you know, how God sits to refine us and then in order to make us into this pure gold and silver and one of the ladies decided to visit a goldsmith just to watch the process of you know refining the silver and everything and you know she asked so many questions and then it came to the point you know like to the end and she asked a very very important question and i couldn't even wait you know to get the answer from that question so after the goldsmith told the lady about all the process and everything so the lady asked so when do you know when the process is finished and the goldsmith answered the lady saying that oh that's easy that's simple i know the process is finished when i can see my image in the silver and, and that just moved me like i just felt a shift in my system and that's just amazing because sometimes we can be going through processes and it will be so hard for us to even connect to the message that 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 process is telling us you know because i now believe okay that we don't go through a tough time or difficult time just 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 by going through it or just to get some experience from it i don't think we go through process just just so that we have experience from it i think we go through process okay i think we go through a difficult time because there's a message in that process okay and we just need to connect to that message and once we get that message then we become more like god and i, I could resonate so much with this um, with, with, with that point because it's so true you know when that process is finished that is where god can see his image in you so the more process we go through and the more we understand the message god is putting across to us the more we look like god the more we we are in god's image you know the more the image of god flows in us and not only is god going to be seeing that image in us even others will see the image in us and i think that is just amazing that is just beautiful you know watching that thing and reading it just yeah, I just think that's that's so true. I just think that that's very very true. Yeah, so I just thought I'd you know sit you guys down and just you know talk to you guys about that. You know, um, you know whoever you are, if you're going through something, just know, just know two things. Okay, number one, that process. Okay, that difficult time, that storm that you are going through. Okay is for a reason it sounds like like that's the normal thing we hear you know when we're going through a situation but just know that, that there's a message in that situation just know just connect to that message and just hold on to that message regardless of what the storm is saying regardless of what the situation is saying just focus on that message that you know that god has given to you and the second thing that i just want to tell you as well is that um so you understand the message another thing is that from that message okay connect to that message and just change the way you see the situation because i feel like when you connect to the message and then you understand the situation then it will help you view the situation in another way and once you once you have a change in perception towards your situation or towards that situation you won't even see the situation anymore you won't even see the storm and i tell you i can guarantee you you will live life while you're going through that storm and you have to also bear one thing in mind just in case you're there you're going through this situation and you don't even know you know you're like where is god why am i going through this right now 
just know okay have one thing at the back of your mind if it is stormy outside okay if i'm outside with you and it's stormy and i'm a little bit you know like maybe a meter away from you you might not see me in the storm sometimes when we are in the storm the storm can blind our sight you know the storm can blind blind us from actually seeing god or even hearing god you know in the rain sometimes when, when when there's a heavy rain going if my husband is standing from afar and trying to talk to me for in the rain it will be very very hard for me to pick the words so some most times god even like always god is always there with us in the storm but because this storm is you know is is, is heavy it is very very hard it will be, it will be hard to to hear god okay and to also see god so the, you know so just have that at the back of your mind so two things okay know that there's a message in that storm okay know that there's a message and the more you connect to that message the more your perception will change about that message about about the storm that you're going through